The greatest feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my silent treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Stash of the Prada. That's how a nigga got up. Gun in the mass in the grass, it's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock, don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks, they just shot up. Stay away from extra shit is something we're probably gonna get into. Your longevity, your career, yeah. the fact that you have avoided the clickbait shit all this time. How do you do that? How do you stay <coughs> relevant? But we, as a specific, oh, he ain't crew, avoid it. He just ain't talk about it. <laughs> we he ain't avoid it. Shit crew, been going down, bro. We don't want to bring up something that you specifically are anti talking yeah. about. We do our homework right. in here. So if you say, right. "Nah, don't do that," we just want to be respectful and know where you at ahead of time. It just makes it smoother for everybody. Mm. We don't waste time trying right. to get an answer out of you that you don't want Listen, to give. This shit tricky. It, 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 a question like, who, who's top five in Houston? I wouldn't answer that. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm just being real with you, like, cause it's everybody got their own top five. And, you know, some of ours passed away. Right. And then you know when you do shit like that, it's like you leave room for everybody to be damn man. That you. Why you ain't put me in your top five? Why you ain't saying you know, I was just saying you last week. Nigga, I thought it was your man. You and feel then what I'm saying? For me, you know, once I go get rubbed the wrong way, then that's all I know how I'm going to go with it. So it's like, <laughs> why I even put myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, I right. never, I don't never do that type of shit, you know? Right. And plus, I'm a real big homie, so I, I find ways to show love to everybody so it always works. The way right. I do it, you know what I'm saying? So, so the answer would be Because some people everybody. just be reckless when the camera come on. They just for their attention. Right. Not nah, some some people they, and it's not necessarily reckless. Like they give their opinion on how they feel about something, but you never know who's going to catch feelings. So you you, you know what? I'm glad opinion. you said that. So you know something? I, I be telling a lot of people with the internet. Internet and social media made it well. Everybody allowed to be opinionated. Right. Like where do I come from? Certain opinions that got you, they the win in your mouth. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People that, freely, they, yeah. they freely with the with the social media that they, these days and shit like that. Right. So even still, I still don't too much put my opinion. Regardless of how I feel, it'd be like shit. It don't be for the world. Me and that, that nigga gonna know how I feel at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just always stood by them laws and that's why I am how I am. Even, even on a cultural, like not even just something that's. I think I think we should even think into it, man. Y'all start it. We gonna run it. If it's oh, a it long but I, I'm. Huh? <laughs> it started up. <laughs> oh, well, shit. It's the same thing. I'm a TP. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just that's just how I feel, bro. Like, right. man, I, I don't. I've always been my own, stand on my own too, and don't really shoot too much opinions because what I've learned, especially more so last few years right through social mm -hmm. media you can see something or hear something and it might only be two three seconds you miss the whole other motherfucking right. hours days or what yeah. led to that yeah and you done formed the opinion so i'd be real big on not forming an opinion without knowing everything that went on mm. right you see what i'm saying because mm -hmm. that little clip can have people that can have people hating you for a lifetime mm. when all the while if they really did know the truth of the situation, it'll make them be like, well, damn, that, that was fucked up. I, I just, that shit way too fast. They might have been on your side. Right, if they right, right. right. So I, I, I always stay away from sometimes the, the, shit. the truth can't be spoken. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, and then in these days, sometimes it's like, shit, man, you ain't gonna be able to clear up how people feel. You're gonna be, you're gonna be talking for days. I, I mean, for, I look for at a it, lifetime. I look at it like, who gonna believe that that's what it is, gonna believe it regardless. Yeah, I, they already had their mind made exactly. up. Exactly, their mind was already made mm -hmm. up, and who don't, they had their mind made up too, and it's just a couple people in the middle that might look to see, look a little deeper to see what it meant, and then there's people that don't. But you know, common sense ain't so common these days. Bruh. Not no more. <laughs> so, Bruh. Yeah. so guess what? The, the fact that they would even have to think and put two and two together and make it make sense, they don't want, that's too much hard work for people. That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? That's a fact. So you kids, people like myself and others, it, you know, all right, man, fuck them people. They don't think what they think, man. Right. It, like, we know. 
I can look in the mirror every day and feel comfortable. Right. That's all that really matters. But, you know? but does it bother you? Uh, in the slightest? Because I, I know it's th I got thick skin. I came from battle rap. Yeah. I got th I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> I got thick skin. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it still bothers me when the lie gets more attention than the actual truth. Um, definitely, I, I I'll be lying to you to say it don't make you feel some type way. Look, I'm, I'm clicking my phone with my daughter, Kyle, and I'll be ready to answer. It don't matter if I'm doing an interview or not. Right. But, um, nah, man, I, I, think it, I think it ain't, I guess it's a form of bothering, but it'd be disappointment because, be like, like, damn, for real, that's how, that's how you feel. You don't even really know what, what I'm, but right. I'm seeing that's how you really feel. Because like. right. even in the midst of that, it's a blessing. Because guess what, bro? If you think everybody on this earth fuck with you, then that make you naive. That make you not be in touch with the reality. Yeah, right. Right. So sometimes, even in a, a fucked up form, it's still a blessing. God's showing you for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I tell everybody, man, in every lesson, there's a blessing. It don't matter if that's the lesson is good or bad. You still end up being blessed at the end of the day because shit, shit being revealed that you you was blind to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. Right. Does, still, still still might be does trade the now. truth delete comments? Uh, not really. I mean, shit get on my nerves and it's just like, like for me, it's like I don't like that repetitive ass shit. If you on my shit down there four or five times, and then if you on some shit where I'm really posting something that that need to be respected. Don't bring no bullshit on my, not not right now. Or do you block them? I'm learning how to do that more so. <laughs> <laughs> the block. Because, you know, I'm, I'm saying this is growth, right? Like, when you go to talk about my album, Stuck in Motion, it's, it's about growth. You know, like, if right. you listen to it, it's more, I'm enjoying life, I'm at peace, mm -hmm. right. um, I'm unbothered. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think when you get to that point in life, I guess they say before shit really get good, it's gonna get uncomfortable. Right. So mm -hmm. that's you where you know? grow at. Yeah. So it, it's all. That it's, it's, it's all growing. part of it. Growth. Like my my biggest thing now is day by day, as a man, I honestly work on not moving off emotion and not reacting as quickly as I, I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because I ain't just moving for myself, man. Like I'm moving. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that rely on me. I, I feed so many people, my kids, I take care of a lot of people. And then not only that, just the streets within the self, just the, the youngest coming up and even people who older than me that just follow my movement and, and everything that I do. I could be fucking up shit for everybody. And you know, sometimes we bump our heads, but the reality of it is shit. Okay, cool, you did that. Now how you gonna shake back? And when you shake back, you just know what not to do. You know what not to entertain, you know what to entertain, you know? So that's why you came up with um, Trey Day? No, nah. nah, that was given to me. Was, yeah, that was, was given to me. Was... Trey Day just from, it was given to me for all the stuff I do and, and help people and bless people. But even when, when that was given to me, I made it about the people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but right now, yeah, if you go look up history in Houston, I got like five or six holidays. I got two keys to the city. I got mm -hmm. my own day in Milwaukee also. So I, I'm, I've been doing this shit two decades of taking care of people, you know. Two keys to the city, two, not one, two. Two is keys. It, is two hard, keys. Is, How do they do that? Is Nobody it hard having that. that kind of responsibility on your shoulders? I know most rappers get to entertainment so they can do whatever they want, so they can live a carefree life, so they don't have to burden themselves with ordinary everyday responsibilities. And here you are wearing the weight of all these other things to to the point where you need to censor what you say and be mindful of what you say and be careful of how you move because you, you're very aware that there's all this responsibility on you. So you and my thing, right? That's the reason why I tell people don't call me, don't don't label me. I don't you don't have to label me no activist, you don't have to label me no philanthropist. I'm just me. You know, my heart is my heart. But the reason I tell them don't label me is because you're not gonna put me in a box and tell me what I can and can't say. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, as we talking and I say certain reactions, that's past words. That's, you know, you, that's like I have to watch how I do stuff because I still, I can't trick myself out of my position or, or trick myself to where my kids without me for a little while. You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. But it's at the same time, with me being who I am and coming up how I came, people still appreciate the fact that I am how I am. They know I'm going to stand on what I stand on. 
even if the goddamn world go against me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, all this shit really be tricky to be honest. But <laughs> yeah. when you when you get to a point where you get no damn, and that's what make you you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're gonna be alright regardless. You know. But but do you feel like in this new era we got to tap dance around everybody else's feelings? I believe damn near anything you can say can offend somebody. If you're asking me that, do I think so? Yeah. Do I agree with it? I think some people take shit to the extreme. And, you know, even with that, like, we're in an era of, of social media. So if I can say you offended me and a person watch the response or the feel sorry for me, and they can do it and get the exact same thing. Now you got everybody and their mama doing the exact same thing, shit. Thing. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, right. you know, it should be weird, man. Like, for instance, right? And this made me really, really check myself. You know, sometimes a, a fan may come on my page, say something slick. And that day, they may got me on the right day, and I may respond. Mm -hmm. And when I take it, though, when they like, Oh no, I ain't like that. I, I I just want to see what you was gonna it's like. Yeah, y'all doing the shit for us. You doing it for and a reaction. You get us in a fucked up situation. Yeah, for mm -hmm. how far I'm gonna be trying to go. Poke, you know, poke in the bear. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. what a lot of shit is these yeah. days. A lot of people poke the bear and they play victim after they poke that bear. With the bear bite. Right. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. the thing is, the boat, the the bear probably let you poke. For the longest, till you just got tired. Like <laughs> motherfucker, stop poking me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, like. I can't believe he did that. And it's like, yeah. like, God damn, they just, they'll ignore all the poking All part. the poking that's my, been going on. My favorite yeah, yeah, one they're... is the, uh, you got too much money. You too famous to be paying attention to me. You, you too, you too, you got too much yeah, money yeah. to be in the comments. You know, man, it, 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 <laughs> I'm saying, and it happens that way, right? So that's why I say it's a tricky thing. Because mm -hmm. truth is, Sometimes you ain't supposed to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, you really not pay attention you know at all. Right? Uh -huh. You say like, that all I, the time. All, I, I, wait, 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 hold up. Say that huh? again. You say that all the time. Yeah, like I'm telling you, like let me tell you, bro. It can. It's people love me to death. Cold blooded. I'm just being blunt. Cold blooded killer. First thing that's hey, bro, like man, hell no, bro. You you one. You the. You the hero and the face of the town, like bro. You don't you don't react or respond to that, bro. That you have people in position that's gonna deal with anything need to be dealt, bro. Because we need you here. You the you the one that's motivating us. You the one that's showing us the way. You the one who opening doors and, and creating opportunities that that we never had. Mm -hmm. You see what right. I'm saying? So you do have to understand when you reach certain levels, sometimes it's um, it's not good. My biggest thing that I deal with now is I don't know how big I am because I'm still out there every day. Mm. So since I'm I'm in the midst of the people every day, I'm not seeing what the people see in me or what they see when I'm not around them because I'm there. I'm 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 in inside it. the box. Yeah. So a lot of times I, I really have to check like yourself. lately lately more so I ain't really stay check myself, but I have to I have to think. I don't know if y'all seen it was just a prank that was done on me and Tip. That just came yeah, out. Yeah, white dome. Uh, right? Yeah, and shout out to him, man. The homie, funny, you know. Yeah. But pay attention to what Tip said. That was that was genuine when he said, the "Think about it. You. Yeah. Think about like it's. Yeah. We have to really, really mm -hmm. be cautious with a, a, a lot of things we do. You know what I'm saying? So, right. That's a different so, level wait, of discipline, though. But that was real. So he really huh? came up to y'all and did that. I'm gonna say this. It's some shit <laughs> y'all will never it'll never see the light of day. We'll leave it at that. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got you. You know what I'm saying? You. It's just and not even no 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 bad shit. The crazy shit is, first let me clarify. White Dolomite is black. Yeah, he's black. People mm. don't know that. You know mm. what I'm saying? And, and he, you know, just how the situation went off the initial thing, he was like, he, he, yeah. I can't afford none of that That's shit. shit. Right. Yeah, like <laughs> Nah, nah, we go, we we get it together. He, he dressed like a cracker jack. Yeah, yeah. And he and you know, I, to keep and I, like, hey boy, that's yeah, yeah, and start talking that shit yeah. to him. And do that like in the, in the supermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it with them in the park. But the out. thing is, he he um, when you actually a lot of time, what I be learning, man, when you talk to people and you actually hold a conversation with them, 
how do people be real intelligent? They be sharp. You know what I'm saying? Um, was he, that the he case actually with a that? good guy, huh? Yeah, he's actually a good guy. Yeah, actually a good guy. Put oh, it like this: he can call my phone right now, and if he needs some, I I would look out for him. So now I got to debate this with you. Okay, how is he a good guy when he's purposely walking up on people, provoking them to do some shit that that he knows mm-hmm. if it goes mm-hmm. left, your freedom is in jeopardy. You know what? And this is if you paid attention to when ours came. I said, hey, it's ways to go about it. That ain't the way. I can hold a conversation and tell him, hey, bro, that ain't the way. Right. This day and age, it's about whatever you can do to go viral. And a lot of people, man, like, it's a lot of situations that go on that I'm in a t- intertwined with. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or, or actually a media part of it. And I can go speak and say whatever just to be controversial and probably... I get a whole bunch of attention behind it. Right. I refuse to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in this day and age, a lot of people do whatever they do to go viral. And once you get on, then you'll notice a lot of people start trying to switch up because they understand that ain't the way. Right. So definitely, it, it ain't the way the to go about. Way. Right. The entry way. So that's the thing. Me, I go the long road. I'm going, I'm going through the back streets around the field and everywhere else to get to where I got to go instead of me just trying to take the cut across you know what I'm saying right so for me it's about principles more ethics like I'm not going I'm not going to jeopardize that to go viral you know what I'm saying no I probably could have said some shit that probably could have turned my album up off the rip like for what like they ain't because at the end of the day when they that's another thing people fail to realize when you go viral that right. shit only lasts for a certain amount of time, time. Mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Nah, you may man. not be able to get your name back. You may not be able to get shit back after what you risk for. People risk it for the attention. People risk shit for money. People risk shit for opportunity. Right. You know. And you also close a lot of doors to people yeah. who don't fuck with that type of shit. A- exactly. So you they they mean? look at you like, oh, label clown. Nah, I'm never fucking with this guy. So, so the the issue mm-hmm. with that is, man, if you're a real solid one and you always had that vibe of being a big homie, it's you sometimes you pull people coattail outside of that. Where people may not even know you held a conversation with them to to kind of put them on game. And I do that a lot. I can go down a, a list of people that you that came in the game a certain way, they don't move that way no more. Right. But for them, a lot of them don't really have people to take the time to do that. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, like I, I tell people, because like, they be like, man, how you, how you, oh, gee, but you deal with, with so many youngers and they be wild. And it's like, man, the thing is, I watch people talk down like they they better than them or like they understand some as opposed to talk to them and, and understand where they're coming from. You don't know where their frustration may come from. You don't know where they, where they thought process may come from. Right. But if you hear them and let them get it out, then you tell them, okay, well, I felt you, but now you feel me. I'm explaining to you how I feel. This how it come out to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Any real one can respect that. So yeah. what was the what was the mindset that you got from speaking to White Dolomite after he did did that shit? No, nah, the the crazy thing, man, it's it's so it's even so much more crazy. People don't know he used to he used to do music after after that thing. We after that situation, or, or shall I say that? that little whatever you want to call it. Right, right. I found, I got pictures with this man from when he was, this man got songs of Kanye West and everybody. Right. Get oh, the fuck shit. out That's crazy. No, he was signed for real. So on the rap side, I didn't, but you know, I, I meet so peop, so many people and I'm just cool. Right. I don't know who's who. You know, I treat everybody with open arms. It don't matter if you big or small. So yeah, if you go look him up, like he really like, even a lot of my partners in Chicago, like, nah, nah, that's our man. You know what I'm saying, and I, I'm, a, I'm, I'll make sure I make it a way where I put y'all with him. And y'all talk to him y'all right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Good dude, man. But that's still, it's still a dangerous thing. It's been, so it's dangerous, right? Because imagine being with me some. Imagine coming to me somewhere, and me and all mine children, we not bother nobody, and we in any way feel it's real, real disrespect. Right. I know what they're gonna do. 
everything around me, you know exactly what it, it's getting tossed up. And that's what you have to help them understand. I don't know if you've seen. We could take the the, the light off him to one of the, the little kids who ran up on a, a another little. Um, I don't know if he ran up on a Hispanic or a white dude in the mall and he popped him. He shot him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's yeah shit, that that. shit right in the stomach. Real. Yeah, like you yeah. like, and they have to understand that, you know what I'm saying? But again, some people be willing to risk it all for that opportunity. Hope and I'm you know why? Because everybody feel like what they see on IG, they feel like if you got a certain amount of followers on IG or TikTok, that make you famous, that make you him. Lit. They ain't that competition. Make you it. Look, listen, once they created a platform, you could create a profile and now you got numbers representing your status. Now everybody's in competition. Mm -hmm. Everybody's looking at these numbers and making judgments on who's more important and who's less important. And you know what I'm saying? Like a, a lot of these labels, a lot of the artists that they signing now, they signing off of the numbers that they see on social media. And, but so, and man, and again, it's a double edged sword, right? Take somebody like me. I've been, I've been banned from radio worldwide 14 years. You see what I'm saying? Why? Um, just shit happened in, in, in the community and a shooting occurred. It had nothing to do with none of us. You know, it was just people get into it, squabbling, and, right. you know, guns get pulled out. The female mm -hmm. disc but, jockey blamed him. Yeah, so the issue what really came. She, no, she didn't blame me. She said it's my people, my type of people who... Always mm -hmm. caused these problems, and mm -hmm. I was like, Entourage. A, no, 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 she no was lower saying, class people, people yeah. from the hood. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. So okay. my mind was, who the fuck is those people? Who give you the right to say who those people is? Right. right. And she kept being real disrespectful. And on one of my songs, I said I had a world hating like her fat ass. And mm -hmm. for them, they felt like he already the first rapper there with his own day. Everybody fuck with him. You never know what other entertainers gonna follow his lead so we need to make an example out of him we need to cut him off where right. we're damn near leaving for dead yeah, which is back years? now the first the first two years yeah worldwide yeah. Yeah. the yeah. first yeah. two years was frustrating and hard as fuck <laughs> once i mastered it i think i'm 50 times bigger than that now yeah. see what i'm saying right. i don't think nobody left over there I can't believe mm. that band yeah. is still. I can't yeah. believe they didn't shake that. So off people, like and after. it's so crazy. People didn't know. People was like, and it's fucked up because I got banned for defending people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm always gonna fight for our people. That's don't get it fucked up. Right. But a lot of people like, oh man, they just not playing the music. They didn't understand. It wasn't about playing my music. You couldn't do business with me. Yeah. If you was a company and you wanted to advertise and pay for commercials. They're going to bleep my name out. If they go get you and do an interview and they know you're cool with me, they edit in that interview. Mm -hmm. At, when I'm on the road, whether even if I'm on a tour with T.I. or whoever, certain property, if it got something to do with Radio 1, Law's not even let me on that premises. Even you see if what I'm it's saying? something positive? Yeah. Bro, they his, didn't give his whole fuck. career was positive up to, up to that point, during that point, and past that yeah, they point. Don't, they, his they whole career has been positive. They fired disc jockeys who played his music. Yep. Damn, a lot of people crazy. got cleared out of the station Actually, just because they, didn't, they supported they didn't his even play my, it. They didn't even play my music on air. They played my music at just a venue at a club right. or it got a concert. Mm -hmm. And somebody told them they supported it. I'll never forget when we were going through the deposition with court. They asked and it was said, how would you feel if one of your jockeys or workers was at a party and their kids played Trey music. And their exact words was, if they're, if they're entity of Radio 1, we have the right to dismiss them at any given point. Wow. So, you know, it was... It was a meeting wow. going on somewhere. Oh, yeah. like, no, they did it in the open. They, yeah, they, they, didn't, they didn't hide. Yeah, I said, yeah, that's fucked up. I remember I, but when you know what? But you know what really pissed them off? What really pissed them off is, how did I find out? They sent the email out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That was probably be internal. Right. I had it in less than 20 minutes of it being out. You see what I'm saying? Right. So for them, the pride and ego was so crazy. They were like, hey, well, if you just tell us who you got it from, we can work our thing out. <laughs> I'm not, that ain't my thing, bro. I'm not finna, I'm not finna go tell us who did <laughs> what. Right. And the crazy shit is, person who told me, I, they worked and worked and worked and 
I ain't never said nothing. I still on my team and just kept it moving. I feel like, man, whatever God got for me is going gonna, is gonna to be. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. And my shit shouldn't be dictated on me telling who did what. Like, I ain't going to do that. Mm. So I just had to fade it. You know what I'm saying? But I was saying that to say that's the double-edged sword because I still got to salute these youngsters, right? Because they made it to where I don't need radio. Right. I can go do tours and do anything I want to do without even having ever even think of needing advertising on the radio. Mm. So it's, 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 they found ways to, to, to milk the system for, for what it's worth. Right. So I'm one of the people, I don't always like to point fingers at them. Like I gotta congratulate them too, because shit, you gotta think, you got some people you never even hear on the radio, nigga, they gonna sell out, they could down there sell out arenas at this point. Mm -hmm. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Right. They created a lane and a way for that. And any real nigga like myself, we we gonna adapt to our environment any anyway, anyway. I'm a hustler. So it worked to where me as a brand, radio is the least at that's at the bottom of the totem pole mm -hmm. for me. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, as far as that type of radio. Cause mm -hmm. now you got all the DSPs and other shit. Right. You know, who needs it? satellite radio? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And it's and it's almost getting itself played out. Mm -hmm. That's still got to be wild frustrating for you to do so many right things by the community, be so loved by everybody around you, and to have this one thing define but, your career in so many other people's eyes. But it ain't just that one thing, man. It comes with the territory, right? I tell people, not even being funny, I'm, I'm God's child. He got, it's definitely, he got something special with me, right? You got to think. You never seen a rapper this time, a nigga that come from the streets, to be able to give back, to be able to even go on the fighting for justice to saving people in hurricanes and still be accepted by everybody. If you come to Houston, it don't matter if it's the streets down to the law, I'm going to get the same respect. Mm -hmm. When I come through there, it's, it's, it's love, period. You know what I'm saying? But um, I feel they come with the territory. So at the same time, with me being love, it also... I have to accept everything that come with it. Like I, I, I said to somebody not long ago, it's like, man, when I just go to looking at my life, it's like I just consistently be crucified in the public. Every certain amount of time, you'll watch people just turn on me out the blue. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, they, they may have been feeling it. I might do something that triggered what they was really feeling. You know what I'm saying? But it come with the territory, man. It'd be frustrating, but then when you get to a point, like when I was Dan at first, I used to be angry with everybody. Like, like damn, bro, like, ain't nobody finna tell these people this some whole ass shit. Like, cause I would, I, I would do that yeah, for everybody else. For mm -hmm. yeah. And I used to have that, I used to have that energy till I got to a point and realized, man, don't nobody owe me oh, shit. shit right. So if they don't owe me shit, then I really ain't got no right to be mad at nobody. I just gotta, Fuck with who really fuck with me and whoever don't, shit, I can't be mad at them. Let them do their thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think when I got to that point, when you really just leave the guard and let go, shit work itself out. Was, was that the moment? Was that the moment you internalized and accepted, like, okay, this is how it's going to be from here on? Yeah, I think, I think once I made that that moment, shit was a lot more peaceful for me. Mm -hmm. Right. I, ain't, I wasn't as angry. Mm -hmm. I wasn't as... I need to press people. I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even on that type of energy, man. Mm -hmm. And I think also came with territory, just my kids. My kids softened me up. And then, you know, my daughter is my youngest. She's five. My whole life done changed when it comes to a little girl. Oh, you yeah. see what I'm saying? So Your daughters will do it, man. They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll just pitch a little piece of you and strip all the gangsta out. Yeah. I, <laughs> just, yeah. just keep pulling throughout the years. And it's, it's yeah. like, with that, it's like, man, I don't, I really, I'm at a point now, I really do my best to not get frustrated with much. And I do get frustrated. I'm human. Okay. I, and I can feel fucked up. I, I got a right to feel fucked up when you feel like everybody turn on you rather than really just trying to really understand you. <coughs> but uh, once you learn how to accept things and, and and move a certain way, it works out, right? Right. I used to think back then, I used to think, man, any nigga say something to me, if I don't respond, I feel like I was a hoe. You see what I'm saying? Mm. All the while, I never really understood, bro. That was total opposite of what it was. Right. Right. 
Most real G's respond when they want to respond, when they got the time to let. Because if yeah. that's the case, you allowing everybody to dictate how you move. How they you move, right. they controlling everything you got going on. Right. And I don't think that was, that that wasn't really taught to a lot of us. So we thought opposite. But now, as we get older and we get placed in positions, we're in position now. We understand like. Yeah, like, yeah, my man, I ain't finna entertain no goofy ass shit like that right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when you get to that point, that's where the, the, the growth is really coming in. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and these are conversations that that I have with a lot. I'm talking about homies that I know will go the whole way and it's like, hey bro, some of that shit just ain't worth that. It ain't worth that, bro. Right. Because what you gotta understand is a dangerous game. People will key you up and trigger you, even if it means they can get hurt in the process just to get you off your know to fuck up your situation. Right. So you have to learn how to really weave through that shit. Yeah, because they, 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 they'll be trying to pull you down to their level mm -hmm. where, you know, there's there's uncertainty, there's poverty, ain't no situations coming through, and they just reaching up trying to, let me get him down here. You know what I mean? Imagine, I'm not even going to depth, imagine a situation where you could imagine him and people be like, oh, he ain't a good person. He don't, he don't, he, he's not the person that, he's not our hero. He's not the person that really helped our people. Just shit like that. When you go to think of like, what the fuck do any of this other shit got to do with my heart and what I really do for the people? Because ain't nobody been doing this shit 20 years straight. One thing for sure, even if you go to talk about, oh, well, they doing it, they, they doing it for attention. Who the fuck gets up and risks their life every day doing this shit? For attention. Taking away from my kids, taking away from my family. I mean, I, that's they the was, reason I'm single now. Sometimes now you gotta a real look at woman ain't trying to stay it. with nobody like me because they feel like anytime something happens, I'm the first one out the door to go take care of the shit. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. So right. when you really like, bro, like I, you, you risk health. You risk everything under the sun doing some of the shit that we do. When we go out there and these police kill people and we go step in that territory, man, at any given time, that shit can go left. left. Right. That that's shit right. can go all the way left. Right. But at the end of the day, when you're doing it for a, a genuine reason and a genuine purpose, whatever comes with it, I'm accepted. Anytime I walk out that house, it ain't a guarantee I'm gonna come back. In my mind, I'm gonna come back because I gotta get to my kids. Right. But it ain't guaranteed. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. What you saying? I ain't want to cut you off. Oh no, no, go ahead. You know what I mean? You got. I got. Go. I, well, I, I wanted to ask, why do you think uh, no one spoke up for you in that situation? I don't know, but I. I, I and the crazy thing, <clears throat> I really don't even care to talk about it because it's like nobody owed me shit so I, I it doesn't it don't really it don't even really matter at this point you Not know worth right. I, I think the issue is that what you going the reason why you um you asked that the issue for me was I was expecting me out of everybody else I shouldn't have did that mm -hmm. never expected you out of the next person right right you can't mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying because mm -hmm. just because you may be walking and drop Five hundred dollars right here, just cause I won't touch it, I won't look at it, or I may pick it up, go run, stop you, and give it back. Don't mean they gotta do that with me. Right. So can I really be mad at them for not doing what I would do? You can't. But then I gotta principle, ask. principle, yeah. But guess on the what? flip side, even principles Everybody ain't and got morals, your principles. they don't. They who's right? They principles may be different than mine. Your right. definition of a real nigga might not be mine. Right. Right. Does that make you wrong? Now. In the, the law, of in the law, and the reality right. of what we came up and know, yeah, you'll be wrong. But in my sense, if you ain't raised exact similar as me, I can't. Like, I can't be mad at you, bro. Mm -hmm. So I gotta ask, why do you do what you do? Because that's what I do from the heart, and that's what I love doing. Right, right now, my only excitement is my kids, helping people, and my music. That's it. Right, and you would instill the same values into your children, correct? I don't have to. It's in their heart. You go look at my page. I remember a situation with my son Houston. I was taking him and um, I was taking him to go buy a whole bunch of shit from GameStop. You know, my kids, when they ask me something, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. And it was a, a family there that said they had an eight, they didn't have nowhere to uh sleep. And I purposely just threw it out, hey bro, you wanna go, we can go get these games, or that family you just seen, bro, we can help them. Mm -hmm. And then we'll figure the game shit out later. Mm -hmm. And his mind was, let's help them. And I, I asked him, I'm like, well, well, why you say that? 
He say, man, I can get these games anytime, man. There's no telling what them people going through at this moment right now. Mm. So How old is he? I'm willing to risk not having fun to allow them to be happy for a moment. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So right. it's, that, it's, it's, it's for real. Yeah. That's for real. It's, Shout out to Houston. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Shout to Houston. Houston. But that's naturally they heart. That's not something that I, I I didn't wake up and teach them that. You know what I'm saying? Well, you so, did. They, they watch you. you. They, yeah. watch, they you. watch you. So you know what? You did. I guess <laughs> a good father would be their kids. They idol. They, they idolize. They, right. But still, in a sense, it, even if they watch him from a distance, you still, I never physically had a conversation to tell him, hey, this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be having to deal with, with my kids. They be willing to give anything away, and sometimes be like, "Hey, bro, I'm get all this. You not know, <laughs> giving this shit away like right, that." Right. But then I can't even really be mad because it's that's a trait. It's they us, you me. know what I'm saying? That's right. that, listen. That's a trait. I, I, everybody knows how much I quote my father. He said shit, but he would say things not necessarily to me. But I got most of what I got from watching how he treated other people, from watching how right. he moved, and I listened when he had conversations that I wasn't privy to. I wasn't a part right. of. I was paying attention. Yeah. Fathers teach from a distance. Yeah. I think about the lessons his kids pick up from watching the way he does things around here. You dig what I mean? Like I, I, I see that. The way his daughter talks to him, she might jump off the phone a little earlier if he says daddy's about to work. And that's not that's not because she wants his attention any less. It's because Oh, he's about to go do that important thing that he does for everybody. Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead, go, 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 do that, and right. I'm gonna watch it later. You dig what I mean? Like as you make your moves and do your thing, I'm gonna your, say your all my watching. kids do that except for my daughter. What he say right be, now? I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah. I can tell her that. Hey, what he say right now? Look like I don't give a damn. I'm like he must have caught the one time that she can. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, daddy, so you know. <laughs> like, uh, let me tell you something, bro. It got to the point when I'm on the road and my daughter FaceTime me, whoever with me got to hold the phone while I'm performing. And she may be watching, she may not be watching. But let you hang up that phone. She and she going to have somewhere. She's going to call right back. <laughs> right. So, she But I definitely feel it's going to be in her, too. But I'm just, you know, just being real. Like, yeah. that's probably one that she just, I don't, it's, she ain't got no fear of me. Mm. She do whatever, whatever I ever. But uh, on the funny Wrapped note, though, fingers. the reason I do a lot of the stuff I do on side of that, I love to do it, is it creates a legacy. A legacy is more important mm. than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because if money come and leave, name come and leave tomorrow, that legacy that you have can always be a foundation for for your kids and everything that come after that. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like one of my sons is disabled. I don't, I don't know if you know my my physical first um, son, Danico. And you know, man, I'm one of the people. I always do what I want to do. I don't I don't care about what people think. I ain't trying to fit in. So like, even if you go look at interviews, I'm probably one of the first people that would bring my kids literally in my interviews. They'd be right there, and they'd be in my lap, anything. But um, I was saying that to say about my disabled son. You probably don't even realize, man. At least forty percent of the industry have a disabled child. Mm -hmm. You'll never know because they don't speak on it because you never know if people are gonna be cruel. You yeah. know, you 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 protect you, you, you gotta right. protect them and you yeah. know, you don't want people feeling a certain way about it, or, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying, or treating you a certain way. But I made it in a situation where my son shit, I, I shared them with the world. It took one time somebody to say something. And bro, when I tell you I had IP addresses, everything that, that nigga ain't he never understood how somebody found him so fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, this, is, this is a true story, bro. Oh, this is a very true story. Right. But I shared them with the world and, and I made people understand, like, bro, it, it's okay. Like you can, you can, your children should be able to live life just as normal as anybody else. Mm -hmm. So like I created a foundation for him called Unique and Gifted Me and his mother. You know, I love her to death. And I did, last year we did the very first special needs day. Imagine over 5,000 disabled kids. You wouldn't even know it was that many kids. Mm. But everybody enjoying themselves because nobody, everybody have different, whether it be physical features, whether it be mental, whether it be mm. everybody in there living their life, living their best life, not thinking about nothing other next. They normal. You, you see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Right. 
So a lot of stuff you do, man, you you have to think more than for the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because even though I'm creating legacy for my kids, I'm also creating legacy for just all people in, in general. You know what I'm saying? And um, and shout out to that too. I'm I'm gonna be one of the first ones. I'm right now working to build the first special needs park in a low income area. Oh, that's fine. Oh, wow. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I only know three of y'all. Huh? I, only, I only know three. It's you, Fat Joe, and Royce. No, it's, it's a lot more. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it ain't for me to put it out there, but just know it's a lot more. I'm only saying that because they've all talked about it. Oh, so yeah, like yeah, all, yeah, the yeah, three, yeah. The, I'm not blowing anything up. But Royce's mm -hmm. son is artistic. Fat yeah. Joe has talked about it. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot more, man. But then it's good that I do show the world is because I'm giving the other ones courage to do the exact same thing. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Because at the end of the day, man, we in fucked up times. But one thing I do know is still a lot of people that genuinely have hearts and can care. So you know it it can it can always go both ways, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's all about doing what's best for for you and yours, doing what's best for because think about it, if I was to stop if I was never rap again, if I wasn't making money, if I just faded off my work definitely gonna be remembered. Facts. And that's more important than whatever I can do to get on real fast right now. Mm -hmm. Beats the attention. Yeah, It's yeah. always about leaving your mark. That's yeah, what yeah. we're here for. Think okay. about it. Would you rather your would you rather your family, your kid be like, man, that nigga, he was a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> or would you rather them like, man, your daddy is probably one of the most solid niggas on earth. And they can just go down stories and stories and stories. You see what I'm saying? But, but you but you never know. Because, you know, um, not to bring up uh anybody else's business, it was shot to Boosie. But you look at what he, he he went through with his daughter, you know Boosie does a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. But that's still a perception. So it, it's you're a not, perception you're not of, of, as far as her her perception on how she feels about him. him. Her or, yes, or at so, least so. how she expresses it to the public. Well, first and foremost, Shout out to him, and I always tell you, I don't get in people' personal business. Right. But what I will say, if people decided to judge Boosie, then that mean they've been feeling a certain type of way. Right. Mm -hmm. The same way if people say something negative to me, they've been feeling that type of way. So nothing that we do is ever gonna be good enough for right. their opinion right. anyway. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I, I understand what that is. I, yeah. I know. I you know you got to realize, man, Boosie, we were kids together, so. I know he loves his kids. I know exactly what he do. You see what I'm saying? Like we got real history, history. You know what I'm saying? But again, it'll never be for me to speak on this personal family stuff. You know, I, I he can speak because he he's the one experiencing that. But what I will say for the people who just jump on a bandwagon to hate him or bash him, they've been feeling that way, man. That ain't that. Right. Don't, what it is, and in, in this damn era, you have a whole bunch of people who are really cowards, and instead of them openly just coming out saying, "Hey, I don't like you." They wait till they can find the find first the moment, mm -hmm. slip in the crack, they, 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 they they like, yeah. and he ain't saying nah, they gonna see you in person. But, like, but it's not just that. But it's not that just. It, it's not just that. It's yeah, not just yeah. that. Some people are chill. They they looking for their own demons. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some people people that didn't have a good relationship with their father, mm -hmm. and they they see her and they want to identify with her because, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. a feeling that they felt. Right. So it's mutual. They, yeah. They, they, yeah. Those demons attract each other. That some people think you're you're attracted to someone else's energy, and meanwhile, it's really you you you're being led by your wounds. You're being led by your trauma. Wounds, you're, yeah. you're you're attracted right. to you have like trauma and you you're trauma trauma bonding. Right. You think it's the same thing. Oh, I feel your energy. Meanwhile, y'all both equally fucked up, right. and just but, having but, company because but, now but the trauma bond is normalized. Trauma That's bonding right. is dangerous true, though. Because then when you get somebody out there like a chick who lies about about rape, women have actually been through it. They For try sure. to bond with them and, and support them in a lie. You see what right. I'm saying? So it's again man, it's a it's a very tricky slippery slope. Game. I'm talking about it's it's you damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost what people gotta realize is and even I'm just not realizing. A lot of this shit, a lot of our, our traumas and what we feel, that's still a form of some type of mental mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me wanting to be by myself and, and not be bothered, 
you know, that's more of a damn near depression kind of if you look at it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of us have real internal issues. And so I was doing an a, a interview earlier and they asked me why I like to do what I do. And I um, I told them when I first started, when I first, as far as just high end with the people, when I first started coming up, you know, I was bumping my head doing all kind of goofy shit. You know, you young. Mm -hmm. Imagine you and your brothers, y'all in the household with your mama. When you're in the streets, you can't, you're not coming home crying to mama or certain shit you ain't gonna talk to her about. So you're gonna go figure it out to the best of your, your ability. ability mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time when you're trying to figure it out to the best of your ability, you may not have nobody at that moment. You may not have a big homie. You may not have nobody you talk to. So now it's, fuck it, this is me against the world. I ain't got nobody, it's just me. Mm. And I used to feel that a lot. Mm. And I always said if I got on, <coughs> I was gonna make sure and grab a lot of little homies when they felt like that and let them know they wasn't by themselves. Mm. And the shit not only went from the little homies, it just went to people in general. Mm -hmm. Because you have people who wanna give up or ready to crash out. I tell the story, and if you, I, I rarely do interviews, but if you find them, you'll, like, you can find some of these moments. Like, I never forget Harvey, hurricane hit, flooding, people don't have food, they ain't got nothing. I show up in these apartments, I got food, um, me, and, me and the whole team, relief gang, we got food, we got clothes, we got diapers, we got water, everything you could think of just for that moment. You know, it ain't gonna last long, but. Dude talking to me in tears, he's like, bro, I don't know what I'd have did if you wouldn't have pulled up. My mind was already set to get ready to hit this bank. And I was willing to risk it all to make sure my kids were going to be able to eat even if I had to sit down the rest of his life. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But think about it. That moment of me being there to let him know he not alone and somebody actually can, that just prevented that man from probably doing a 40, 50 year bid. Mm -hmm. That eased him up for a second to know, hey, they don't have to care about the fact that they do. They took the moment to come out here and, and give a damn about what we got going on. Right. It get him the, him the incentive to try and figure another way out mm -hmm. or to keep pushing or even pay it forward for the next one that maybe feeling how he somebody feels. else to do right. that. So that's why a lot of things that we do, it's always planting the seed. Or we made it, huh? You, you might have messed up his big come up too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might have got away with that one. You never know. But but I feel what you say. I definitely feel what you say. It just unnecessary risk. Yeah, man. It's just like at the time he felt it was necessary. Yeah, and I, and that's that's you. And could you blame him? No, you can't. Right, you can't. Imagine, imagine. I don't even know how many kids you got, but imagine you waking up and they don't know what they finna eat. Oh no, I've been. They don't know. Shit. They ain't got no lights. They ain't got. You didn't did it, at they all. did it for it worse. For lesser. <laughs> you didn't look, do it for lesser. Some people right. do it for look, clout. You know how many times my baby moms pick up that people. phone and she like, "Yo, I need, I need, I need," and it just got spooky outside. It gets dark. It gets dark. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. And I know there's a, there's millions of people like that. Yeah. That's what man. I, I it was a. I don't know if y'all seen on my page. I want to say it had to have been. Three, four weeks ago, it was a homie named Kanal. I had just met him. He was, um, he had a few days to live. He was on mm. hospice. Um, had his people reach out. I was one of his favorite rappers. Just so happened, um, I'm getting ready to hit the road to promote the album. But I get the um, call, he on hospice, and they give an address, and they like, man, it'll make his day if you can just get to him. Mm. Now, I could have, when they had hit that road, I prolonged it a day, pulled up on him. His last few days definitely was something he going to remember. You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. Moments like that, bro, you have to, like, sometimes it don't take nothing to, to simply care and change people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the other point of why I'm saying that is, even in the midst of him knowing it, Tomorrow he could tomorrow could be his last day or tonight could be his last night. Still positive, still laughing, still trying to push messages, all kind of shit. I'll show you some some shit when we get off air. But point being is it make me realize, bro, like, we complain about a lot of shit. You have no idea what nobody else is going through. It could be way worse. Then you look at it like how God brings it across your attention, right? Like, what's the reason why this is coming to me? 
Like, you could go to anywhere else. You could get lost somewhere, whatever. But it came in front of your desk. Showed up so for me, what I, what I understand that, that what God do with me, I don't know. <laughs> and I, you know, me and him have our one-on-one -on -one conversations all the time. Even though I ain't going to necessarily say he talk back, but I talk to him, you know. Right. Um, I do a lot of shit right. And I've seen other people do the exact same thing. But the impact that comes from me doing it when he send me some way different you know what i'm saying so anything he send my way is definitely to it's going to impact mm -hmm. like when you really go down a list and go just doing your research the different stuff i've done everything that i've allowed people to see has been major you know what i'm saying Phenomenal. and that's only 20 percent of what i do because it's a lot of shit i ain't got time to be Posting, trying to help people understand what's going on, because it's a lot of shit I do. Mm. But the shit I do, it definitely, I could watch somebody 50 times bigger do the exact same thing, and that shit would get washed under the rug. You see what I'm saying? Right. Crazy. I, George Floyd, that's my partner. Like, um, you'll find videos of him telling people, like, it's messed up Trey Band. Like, it's probably one of the only real ones we really got. Like, it's messed up. Mm. And even. You watching people do marches and everything else. The one that was did for him in Houston that we did over eighty thousand people. Damn. You see what I'm wow. saying? Like I don't, I'm not, I'm known, but I ain't known like that. You see yeah. what I'm saying? But I feel like God got away when He using certain ones. He it's got a way. He gonna make it. That was the word I was getting. Yeah. I ain't want to say it wrong, but yeah, yeah. He has yeah. a way that He makes it way more impactful. But, but. Yeah. yeah. Still a lot of responsibility. Definitely, because I have to choose. I ain't put out an album in so long because it's always shit happening. So what am I going to do? Am I going to take that moment to worry about I need to try and get this on this playlist or this and that or go and get to the people that need help at that moment? Because sometimes like when you go to looking at the, the FEMAs and the Red Crosses and other people, they want to plan, they want to strategize, they want to figure out how they're going to make it work when them four or five days you doing that you yeah, got you people who people may be dying, dead man. yeah, yeah. Or, or, or so making desperate decisions right mm -hmm. drastic drastic decisions. so yeah. with me it's like i would always put my shit to the side and go and get to it right then and now see i'm not when i get to helping once i if i once i really touch people i'm there for the long haul even after the shit fade away, I'm still going to be around. They still going to have access to me. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'm one of the ones we move on that impulse right then and there because they need it. Who the, you, you would think, right? They'll be all right and a day ain't going to hurt. But let me give you an example. Imagine, imagine not having power and one of them elderly's on dialysis or something like that. You never like you never know what them. You may think it may not be a big deal, but you don't know what none of these people going through at that moment, and right. they ain't got the time to wait. Right. That's a different type of frustration. You know what I'm saying? That's what lead to the drastiness. So for us, it's like we move right then and now. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then you know others can come in and and clean up behind us and help or whatever. But the point is, you have to sometimes you have to determine. What's worth you sacrificing? I always say, man, if something ever happened to me, right? What if my kids was in need? I, if I ain't planted enough goddamn seeds to make somebody at least be like, yeah. it ain't about me right yeah. now. Let yeah. me try and help them. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I don't know what I'm doing. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, when but that's turn, the goal. When do you turn it off? Because after a while, it gets draining. I think it's always been draining. I can give you an example of how it's always been draining, but it's all I know. Right? Like... I'm uncomfortable when nothing's going on. I don't, I don't, that's mm. not me. I work better under pressure. You know how you have, you yeah. have some basketball players, some people like, you, you, play go, you go to pressing them yeah. and they're going to show play you what LeBron. they, huh? play off LeBron, play off Rondo. When the, when the pressure's on. They're going to get, they, yeah. they, by any means they're going to get doubling. Start doubling. doubling. Right, so yeah. that's, that's all I know. As I was saying earlier, that's the reason why I'm not in no relationship. That's the reason why I ain't never been married. That's the reason why 
my family understand, right? But others don't necessarily understand because it's like, God damn, at, at when, what point you live for you? My people argue right now, in two days, family, everybody going to uh, Costa Rica. I don't do vacation. Never done vacation. Why? What? If it's not, if I'm not working, it's not happening. I don't know. It just it don't it don't happen. I, wow. I, I can relate, man. Even when I go on vacation, it's I not a vacation. I'm saying, I, still, I ain't even got to that point where yeah. I can go on vacation and say, let me find some work. Like, I ain't doing it. I just ain't going. It's work. Mm. But why? If I'm comfortable doing this. I'm, I'm a workaholic, right? You see what I'm saying? Right. You don't give your body time to rest? Like, you don't relax yourself? So, like... you know, people argue with me all the time about it. And if y'all ever have, you can have everybody from David Banner down the list, and they'll tell you they all told me this. But they also all respect, like, Trey just going to be Trey. You got to yeah. just got to so let them do their You know, you something like that is coming man. out of concern. They, nobody they wants definitely. to see you hurt, bro. Right. They de it's, it's, I don't shit on nothing that they say. I, I actually listen and appreciate them. Like, I'm going to tell you another story about Banner in a minute, but I value that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But this is me. And also, I am one of the ones God chose, so... I'm able to endure and deal with a lot I'm more than what people can person. do. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So it funny, never... look funny. Kenny's sitting in the uh, to the side right there, bro. Like when I work, I go days without eating. Like this is what I I, I just know. This is what I do. He's a human. He ain't robot. ate today. He, like literally, yeah. we gonna hopefully eat for the first time in a little while. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and it'd be mm -hmm. crazy. Like when you go to talk about disasters, right, bro? I'm literally and. You're right, my son do watch. Because you know what? When I go sometimes, he'll come. And we'll be sleeping in a truck. Literally, it ain't no hotels. No, it get real out there. Mm. We sleeping in vehicles. Waking up sunlight, going to do whatever we need to do. So mm. it's a lot that come with this shit. But I think the, the, the fact of me being able to share my blessings, that's, that's the ultimate win for me and in the end to just be there for somebody before they tap out and give up. You know what I'm saying? Commend you on that, brother. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Real talk. All right. All right. That's, 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 so from what I'm seeing, <laughs> politics is inevitable for you. No, I hate it. I don't politics. I, I ain't politics in the that. streets <laughs> and I ain't gonna politics. You can't make me act a certain way to fuck with certain people. Right. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. And if I don't, it ain't gonna happen. Right. I don't care even if it's not going to allow me to be part of something. I just ain't going to be part of it. So policies, they are, people call me the mayor of Houston all the time. I don't, that's not my thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to do none of that. Why not? Because you can't, you're not going to put me in a box and have me abide by no rules. But what if I it's, would do what if my shit how I want to What if it's your box? It. Yeah. What if you make what the if you rules, make the rules? And you, you change but, but it so it works it. for the people? That, that, part of the so I'm saying that's what I do as a whole, just like if you pay attention, we fight to get people in office that have the best interest of our people. Right. But politics wise, no, you got to think, even if you do go change the rules, what rules you really change as a whole, as a mayor, it's still going to be shit you got to abide by. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to just, institution. You, you ain't going to be able to just do it because you're going to have to fight to get them laws changed. By that time, your goddamn term going to be over. So right. it's, you know but, what I'm but at least you got access to to resources where it's not it's not draining you anymore. So let me ask you this: You could do more. Is it really worth? No, no, no. Now let me. I'm finna fuck your head up. Is it really worth me doing that when I'm already doing it now? I can move around in Houston. It ain't nothing that I can't get accomplished or done. And believe it or not, guess who? When certain shit happened, guess who phone ringing for advice? So I'm already doing what needs to be done. Right. But without, your way. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. And I'm not in politics. Right. Right. I'm mm -hmm. just able to be me and they appreciate me. Yeah? Right. Other day I got up, said, you know what? I'm going to call the head who over the county. I want to go in the county and just chill with the inmates. You best believe I was in that motherfucker 24 hours later with radios in their form and everything else. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. One thing I've, I've earned in my city and just as the people as a whole is they know anything I do is genuine and a trust. So I'm, I'm allowed to do a lot more and a lot unorthodox shit that people wouldn't usually see. 
You know what I'm saying? So, if you was oh, in politics, okay. you would probably, you probably Right, so why not Why right. not be able to do me, right. still be able to touch, move the needle how I need to move and still be able to keep doing what I need to do at the same because time? Because at some point, it has to... All right, so the example you set, how does that become... That That's your legacy, it's trade the truth. But if your son wants to follow in your footsteps, how does he tap in? And I, I honestly, this is what I, I've learned. It's different for, for each person, right? What's for me may not work for him. What he may take from me may ignite what may work for him. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I don't think nobody should have to feel like I got to do it exactly and have my own trade of truth legacy. I think, hey, I can take, same as the music coach, I can take bits and pieces of this and that and spiral that into my own shit. And you may be 50 times bigger than a Trader Truth legacy. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's why it's all about planting the seed. When you plant the seed, you don't know how it's going to sprout. You don't know which way it's going. But you planted the seed. You gave it a chance. Right. You see what I'm saying? Your so, son could end up with the discipline to be a politician and still have the heart of a humanitarian. And the heart of a fighter, because I'm a natural, I'm a fight for our people. I will go again. It don't matter what it is. I'm gonna go against it, <laughs> win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, definitely, man. What was that uh, David Banner story you were gonna tell? Shout oh, out to David Banner. Yeah, shout out my brother. Um, They've been on me heavy about seeing a therapist, and I just I would always be like, no, I feel like for what? I ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I do listen when they when they talk. You know what I'm saying? And even and we and we are debate, 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 and even then, it's moments like that of how much they care to try and push you to be better. You know what I'm saying? You have to value that. Mm -hmm. I still ain't now. I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep it silent. I ain't gonna lie to you. I still ain't went. I'm supposed to have been, <laughs> went and I'm, I'm. But I told him I would, so I'm gonna be a man of my word. Yeah. I, I told Charlemagne the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But I, I haven't yet. But as a man of my word, I know I gotta stick by it. I'm, I'm gonna have to try that. You know, and I know. It's only being told to me to sharpen me up and, and better me right. at what I am. Right. You, you it know sustain what I'm you. They they want to see you around. They want to see you healthy. They don't. Nobody wants. How did no, you? It's not just that, man. No, I'm, but but you're saving somebody in these situations. This in you, but there may be a situation that you you didn't have the power to do something that that's true. That's reoccurring now. It's playing out. And it's playing out so much, you can't vacation, you're sleeping in cars, you're doing stuff that could deteriorate, deteriorate your health for the sake of others. But it's a reaction to something that you feel like this shit, this shit shouldn't have happened. So now I got to do everything. But in doing everything, you can lose yourself if you don't take care of this. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I get you. So I understand why they're saying it. Because when you, when you say, I ain't never been on vacation, like, damn, Trey, like, never? <laughs> never? It's all just crazy. You, ain't, you ain't never made a sand castle on me? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's got to be some of that in there. You know what I mean? Like, you, you got you to gotta, you gotta feel that side of life, too. Because if you don't, how your kids going to enjoy it? When they know every time they go do that, they got to be away from you. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm here. I am. I just, you know, man. <laughs> he still thinks. <laughs> nah, I, I, I'm like people really. Be, they really people really be in their feelings that I they can't get me to go out of town and just break away. Relax. Yeah. But what, has think, anybody ever I, tricked you? Like yo, we going out here to go do this show, bro. When you come out, <laughs> no, we we going to protest. Know other shit. They they know how to re they know what that reaction gonna be. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, going to do a protest yeah, of Hawaii. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, they wouldn't do that at all. I am. I am it's curious. needed though. It's definitely huh? needed. It's definitely needed. Yeah, and, yeah, and again, with mind, body, and soul. For you, I'm telling you, the, those are gonna be the moments. Let me, let me tell you something, bro. If I was really to to go do a vacation. No fucking way I'm not going to have my phone. My phone is going to ring and it's going to be some shit that's needed. Right. So it, 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 it the you're going to turn around and way. go back. You know but if I go out there and I say, hey, I'm not using no phone, 
and I don't answer the phone, and I'm on vacation, you never know what type of fucking chaos can go on. But you know what? That's, <laughs> yeah. that's but you never me. know. But you can have you, a team, though. You never that. know if nothing might happen. Yes, that's, that's right. It's a gamble. Either yeah. way it go. Right. It's the other side. But at the, at the same time, I'm telling you, them kids don't want to make a sandcastle. <laughs> yeah, so but they, let me tell you something. If they want to do it, I'm always going to range where they can do what they, they need can to do. They can go. Right. Always gonna be arranged for what they want to do. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to. I, man, I don't know how to tell my kids no. I don't know how to whoop my kids. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So my kids is always gonna be a okay. They know. Oh, see, Kenny, you got the answer. Make the kids make them go. Cool. <laughs> 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 they ain't gonna be able to do it either. Uh, <laughs> it is. Now, I know what you mean though, because it's like I was in prison for a while, in and out. Mm-hmm. And when I came home of this last bit, I was just working. I th- and like you, I felt weird if nothing was happening. I'll go hit four or five spots a night. I'll go do this in the morning, get two hours of sleep, repeat, repeat, repeat. And um, the first time I actually went on a vacation, I was like, yo. Because prior to that, I started like feeling the way I, w- I was getting the sniffles. I was getting sick. Yeah. And I We're couldn't understand running. why, because I was taking care of my health. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And it was because I was just running, running, running. Constantly. And when I had uh, just three days, Friday to Sunday, to sit down and just have peace and eat and sleep, when I came back, I did it for a whole nother year again. <laughs> yeah. You understand? It's like a reset. It's recharge. We're batteries, you man. We're batteries. You know what I mean? Especially with healers. Yeah. You got to recharge. You know what, though? I ain't going to tell you what. I'm, I'm not going to. I'll say go. I'll say go to the therapy, but I don't want to. I don't want to fix what ain't broken. You dig what I mean? Like if mm. you're able to do this, and this is your comfort zone, I don't want to break that That's by asking true. you to alter what you do, yeah. especially if it's working. because of what everybody else because, wants for you. Because you're necessary. Because you're needed. Right. And because what you do really matters out here. I, I, I would like to help. But I don't want to, you don't retool the engine. Maybe like, here's a different kind of gasoline you can use or something like that. But that's what I think therapy is. I don't think therapy is necessarily trying to rebuild your engine. I think it's more along the lines of, you know, if you downshift when you do this, you'll actually be able to go faster. You actually be able to. You know, it's, it's actually like you that. understanding what's therapist. pushing the engine. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, if you do it like this, you won't have to change your brake pads for a little bit of time. Shit like that. That's how I that's how I picture therapy. So I went I went and look at it as I don't want you messing with my mechanics. The way that this is going really works for me. And I'm able to do all these other things and you take me out that zone and maybe I can't get back to it and then maybe the whole thing crumbles and it's a house of cards. Nah, how about we just Let me work. Yeah. yeah. Let me because it, sprinkle it, a little here and there. Yeah, the therapy will be enough. That's gonna be a lot. Bro. But it, it, Banner beat me in the head about the exact same thing. That's why I'm laughing. Mm. But I, I know what his intentions are. And I know how he gives it up. He's not trying to stop doing the things he's doing, but he's trying to make the machine better. Mm. We talk about fighting. Mech, what do you get out of it? Why do you do it? Does it help this? Does it? But it's all trying to figure out how to make the machine better. Mm-hmm. Keep working. And if it makes you feel any better, take a... Take an impoverished family with you. Definitely a sibling somewhere. Let's take yeah. a break. <laughs> We're gonna take a five so, Yeah, that was so. Yeah, hold on, cause this he, I gotta test this. So now, remember when you took now, an impoverished family we with you? No, you know now when we talking about the fucked up shit that come with it. Man, imagine helping people that really don't deserve the goddamn help. Yeah, that, mm, that that's the downside. That is. Mm. I, when I say I can give you some stories of ungrateful, no, no hell, not deserving. Fuck no, no. Just, but man, I, let's go fast. Let's fast forward real quick, lady. Because now, anytime something happens, people blow my tag up. It don't matter if it's whoever it is. They gonna before they damn near <laughs> reaching out to anybody else. <laughs> my name is on it. If I and if I so happen to get on it and see it. I can't. Once I see it, I can't unsee it. Yeah. So at that <laughs> yeah. point, yeah. I'm obligated. You I'm see start, what I'm saying? I'm starting to understand the reconsider video. 
Why you got the S on your chest while you run around saving everybody? And still, people are ungrateful because I was fucking up. But but point being, lady cry about she an older lady, grandma. I'm going to get my GED. The teacher and them told me I was stupid. I could never do such and such. I'm a natural protector. I'm not, man. They got her. You got me fucked up. Y'all find her. Get her to me. Get on the phone. What's needed? Oh, you know, I don't have the money for my books. And, you know, I don't have no... T- Boom. Cool. How much the books? Oh, I think around maybe twelve, fifteen hundred. 1500 Boom. Send the money instantly. Um, go to get tutors. Lady ain't got no teeth. Matter of fact, I, I got one better for you. I'm going to fly you here. I want you to just come come to Houston for a second. Start it off. Supposed to fly her there. Led to me flying her home girl, her dog. <laughs> oh, shit, that's cool. We ain't, we ain't sweating it. Right. Get her there. Get her. All her teeth done. Mm. But even in the midst of that, right, my assistant, um, shout out Krista as my dog, like, Anybody who know me know she be on, cause people have to stay, I be doing and I get pulled so many ways, sometimes people have to stay on top of me. Right. Um, get the lady hotel, take out, make sure everything good. Tell Crystal Cool, at least daily, go take her at least $70, $80. She's there for four or five days. Mm-hmm. Cause at, at the end of the day, if she, so she can go eat something nice. Right, right, right. Should have paid attention to that one. The lady like that ain't enough. Didn't she said I didn't? That? Yeah, this this her and Crystal. You know, and Crystal, Crystal trying to tell me like, man, this lady being ungrateful shit. For me, I don't really like to tell people no. So I'm like, it ain't that big of a deal. Just let me know what else need. If I need to give you something else, cool, whatever. Come to find out, I send tutors over there. Everything, you know, the the tutor. Telling me about how the lady trying to holler at the dude at the front. There's just a lot going on. Long story short, two to go to doing some research. And you know, people genuinely have love for me. So in their mind, we're going to, what's whatever for the best interest of Trey. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind, I gave, I, I want to say it was either twelve, fifteen hundred $1,500 for the books. The books are $20 a piece. <laughs> Holy shit. So you didn't do your homework before you sent the money out? Sometimes it wasn't even a, sometimes I don't move like that. I move yeah. right then and there. I'm not I am I'm not yeah, right. I'm not taking the time to, to do that. You right. know what I'm saying? Get the, the lady back home. Now people all around they like they see lady got new teeth, everything. I'm like, oh no. This the one person we ain't finna let her scam. They go to try they start finding all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? Lady was in denial till she finally flat out came and told the truth, but it's it's moments like that. It's like, if I wasn't as solid and as strong as I was, you'd have fucked it up for everybody else. Right. I could have mm. easily comfortably been like, fuck all this shit. I ain't doing yeah. this no I'd more. I'd be like, give me my teeth back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Everybody around me said that I ain't going to do that. Give me them choppers. But that after that, that lady was cry left and right because she realized, damn, I fucked over. Probably one of the only few real people that genuinely gave a fuck about me. Mm-hmm. Right. Can't get that back. You see what I'm saying? Right. But the point I'm making is that it'd be a lot of shit, bro. A, a lot. Imagine me and my kid is it, flooded. Me and my kids, I can't get my kids to school. We ain't got no car to car flooded. We go to rebuild your whole house, help you do everything else. You in the club with red bottoms on and everything else. Oh, right. One lady, you you need some stuff to help get you and your kids where y'all can get rooms. You end up hitting somebody I know. They just so happen to know that I donated to you, but you hit them for a three hundred, three four hundred dollar hair job. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's a lot that it don't always go. You know what's paying out? Yeah. And that's another thing when people be like, "Oh, well, you know, so, sometimes you know, well, why he always show shit? Like, if I really showed you the shit, it'll make you be like, man." Fuck helping out these people. You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm. But that's not true. I, I ain't gonna stop. You but know there's, what I'm there's more that that do get the genuine help than not. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you don't want to miss those, right? Never want to miss those. Because right. again, it right. comes with the territory. Always. So what you? There's the discipline for doing what let me, you do. Let me band worldwide, right? Let's take music. You can have an artist have a number one hit, come back second go round, ain't got a number one hit. People ain't like the song. 
the artists fade away. Mm -hmm. like, I ain't have radio. I, you couldn't even advertise. You couldn't even say my name. All them blessings and everything I've done, God gave me that back times 20. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can stop rapping now. I'm still going to be A-OK. -okay. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> so why rap? I love it. I got over 2,000 unreleased records and I still feel I can't be fucked with. Take a break, you know what, take Trey? a break, no, take yeah, a break, yeah, take a break. Yeah, let's yeah, come yeah, back to it. Let's come back to it. Here, let's come back to it. Let's come back to it. Now we're about to go to the studio. Let's come back to it. Here, we're about to go lock 2492. 2,492 items. I can go through here and I can play your records like crazy. Back to it, back to it. Take the break. Take a break. But I'm a machine. This is what I do. No, we coming right back. We're going to discuss. All right, so um, <laughs> while we was on break, break uh, Trey played this uh, record with everybody. And the whole, mama. I'm talking about the whole <laughs> industry. And they mama. <laughs> Get it alive. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear this shit, you're going to be like, God damn, how did that happen? How do these things happen? Just, I think real relationships, that's just all it is. Like, anybody that I do music with is, they really my people. I can call them at any moment, just like they can call me at any moment. Right. So I got real, real, real long relationships, you know what I'm saying? So How you establish those move. relationships? Um, I think just being me. You know what I, I learned? Um, Tip said it, like when Tip brought me over there, to, um, when we did the Hustle Gang and I was the VP over there, he, um, he was like, man, it's a breath of fresh air. You don't really find genuine, solid dudes in the industry. It's always what people want or how they're going to benefit right. out of the situation. So when you meet somebody that can hold their own, stand on their own, got their own respect, do their own thing, people embrace it way more than let me get around you to see what I can get out of you. Because mm -hmm. for me, I don't have to. The crazy thing is even with the relationships, I could probably have a million more records, but it don't, it don't even be about the music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And people who know me, like even fan-wise, they know it'd be real relationships. Like people have no idea. Like you got to realize everybody from, you know, you got from J. Cole being my brother to even up to Andre 3000 to, you know, like I have just real relationships, man. It just be genuine, you mm -hmm. know, and that. I think that'll always outweigh any and everything else because it's not about, it ain't even about the music at that point. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of people who know it's like, you, we, we'll go just to me and Nipsey. Like when I would be in LA, I would literally land in LA, Nipsey would come drop off his truck and I'd be using the truck doing what I do and it don't, it don't be about the music. You see, you see what right. I'm saying? Mm. Like you go to Tamazi, that's like, that's my, baby brother so we got we got a whole movie we got albums stuff to, but it don't it don't be about that and that counts more you know what i'm saying because right. it's worth more to be able to to have the relationships with people other than because a lot of people have industry relationships hmm. when it's time to do a concert you show up we shake hands <clears throat> take our picture we good go about our business mm -hmm. and i guess there's nothing wrong with that but that ain't how i operate you know what i'm saying Right. So yeah. Those are business relationships. What you have is personal relationships. Yeah, 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 definitely. And, and the that, business that, is just a bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, that, that's kind of hard to acquire in the industry. <clears throat> right. You know, so many, especially with schedules and that, that there's so much that, that could get misconstrued. But people but, just. But you know, I don't. The the good thing is I've always been one to show love. So a lot of time, before they even blow, we already had that that relationship, you see what I'm saying? Right. Because guess what? I could turn my nose up and be like, oh, I had records with this person. I'm this person. Or I'm worth this. And it can bend a shit on which I never do that. And I embrace them and, hey, whatever you need, cool. And our relationships always build just in general. Right. At the moment, I may be a bigger artist, you know what I'm saying? To where they end up growing maybe 50 times bigger than me. But the fact is, they don't forget, like, when he could have been doing something else, focus on him. He made it his business to make sure we were good and was rocking sure with us. Well. So, mm -hmm. relationship wise, it's just, it's always an equal thing. But definitely, it ain't anybody I say I got a relationship, it ain't a time I can't call them that they ain't gonna be there for me. 
You know what I'm saying? Maintaining those relationships seems to be like the sketchy part that I'm not sketchy part. Seems to be the the tough part. The tough part because nah, you're not I, calling each other every day. Y'all got shit to do, and sometimes mm-hmm. you let them. I, but sometimes it's just like family. Sometimes you end up missing your relative. You'd be happy as hell when you see them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Sometimes you know, uh, and then some of us, a lot of us, do talk on the regular. We may not talk every single day, but we talk regular. We talk enough to where we know what's going on in each other's lives. You know okay. what I'm saying? And at the times that we really need each other, the right ones is is always there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because it can be, believe it or not, I tell people, like when I first started putting my music back out, The Truth, it was called The Truth Part 1. J. Cole, the reason I didn't put the album out, we, we, deba- and we debate all the time. We debating on the phone. I'm just, I didn't have a deal. I didn't want to just throw it out and get it lost. And we would go back and forth. And then, you know, he would also help me understand, like, well, bro, it don't even matter if you only gain 20 fans off the shit. That's still 20 fans you didn't have, you didn't man. Have Let's build that shit up. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. you know, we're, me and everybody I have a relationship, we'll debate about different stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, I take it in, and if I really, really feel what they're saying, then cool, fuck it, let's just, let's run it. Mm-hmm. And I did it, and when I did the true one, it led to me doing a series of that to start getting back to putting the music out, you know what I'm saying? And, um, that's just how I be in, in general, but a lot of times it's not, you don't even necessarily be, like, for instance, me and Nas are real close, and we never, we, it's, we together, we don't always, it's not even about music. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, just all, a lot of our relationships be different. Right. But yeah. Mm. I lost one like that. I still regret it. I should have been better at it, but I wasn't. What? Uh, uh, Cultivating uh, the relationships? Yeah. Um, I remember meeting Nipsey Hussle when he first came out here. And he was yeah. signed to Shipes. Yeah. And me and him was super cool. And every time he would come back around, he would holler because he was yeah. that kind of dude. But as his success climbed, I specifically took a step back because I was like, in my head, I was thinking, I don't want to bother him. He's doing shit, one. Two, I don't want to look like that guy who's only around him because he's successful. And that was, my, that was the main thing in so, the back. So I'm going to tell you, and if nobody told you, bro, that was strictly your pride and ego. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. That, because uh, if 100%. you know anybody who know, and it's a handful of us, anybody who know everybody, anybody from me to Nip to to certain other ones, it's always genuine. If we fuck with you, we're going to fuck with you mm-hmm. regardless. Like, we don't, I can't wake up and, because I, 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 I take it personal, right? Me, and people be like, man, I, I you know, I ain't really want to bother you. My thing is, if I'm busy or I'm tied up, I'm a grown man. Like I say, hey, bro, just give me a second. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna make sure I get back mm-hmm. to you, mm-hmm. but don't put the jacket on me before you give me the opportunity to tell you I wasn't even busy from the jump. Yeah, right. right. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it, it's kind of even not even not saying from a dude. Even you take it to a female standpoint. Well, well, I, I know you famous, so I know you got women everywhere. Like, like don't yeah. don't throw that shit on me yeah. Yeah. without you know you ain't hold a conversation. That's insecure. You know what right. That's insecure. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just giving you different examples. Mm-hmm. Like you but, should never that, do that without. Yeah. Right. Like sometimes, Anything, because yeah. in my mind, I feel like you already made yourself believe it. Yeah. Yeah. And you shouldn't make yourself believe that without talking to some kind person. of confirmation of. Yeah. It. I, you know I, what I did it. I did it. There was it was a hundred percent. I never when he passed away. I felt terrible. Not just because we lost a good dude and we lost a talented dude, but I, I let our relationship what it could. You know, I just let it fade out. And I did that. My, you know, you hit him. Found out he passed and went started calling the number I had. Yeah. Like it, you know, it was it was. It was you awful. gotta you gotta understand, man. Sometimes you gotta be mindful of what you take for granted because God placed people in each other's lives for a reason. Mm-hmm. Whether it may be a lesson or whether it may be a relationship that y'all gonna have for the rest of your life, you know, because He placed people in your life that's gonna fuck over you too. You know what Actually, I'm saying? But you it, it, do everything, everything for a reason. But you have to value the ones that's genuine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can honestly say, like, with me and Nip, I was glad with our relationship. We was always, always good, always close. Whether 
be, you know, a lot of people know my situation of me dealing with what I'm de dealing with, what I was dealing with, fighting the court for my daughter, just different shit, you know, and they will always be there in, in different ways, you know what I'm saying? So always value the, the people who genuinely care because people don't have to care. People mm -hmm. don't have to even allow you to access to even get to them like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You've said something three or four times since you sat down here. You, you've remarked about how you're single. Yeah, I, yeah, because man, I think I'm just a loner, bro. I, I, I think I built, and it's not good, but I built that, and also, I've come to understand the lifestyle that I'm living. Do I feel it's people I care for and that care for me strongly, very much? But do I feel I can put forth everything that, that they're going to need or they're going to be able to deal with everything that I have going on? Absolutely not, I would say, only because we can be, think about it, if I throw my album to the curb or to the trash to go out for people, what happens if I'm supposed to be doing something with my significant other mm. and some shit jump? Yeah. Do they have to understand this is what I'm going to go do? Well, or do they get to a point like, well, damn, the world is taking my personal life away from me? Mm. Well, well, like, to quote you, don't put that jacket on until, until you see what it is, right? Oh, I definitely experienced it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, God damn, like, like you, you going to take a break? I've experienced that, so. Yeah. You know, I just, it I gets, just it gets to tough it. for the females, though, like. Because, you know, they, they want to build a lot more with you. And, and I think, I, I, you know, it's a hard thing, right? Because you never know <coughs> what type of female I'm supposed to Am I supposed to be the one that think exactly like me that's going to want to do this and mm -hmm. our whole thing will be based around that? Or do I need opposite where it's going to balance, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. a, a different way? So it's just, it's just a hard situation, man. So I mean, are you I, trying I to see who's who? Um. I, I honestly, bro, I think you get to a point with me, I guess I just accept stuff for what it is. So, and I, I'm not saying I don't deal with nobody, but I'm saying as far as just. Well, you got kids. You know, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> ain't going to say I don't deal with nobody, but as far as a real relationship, like, nah, I feel like when they get to that point, it's going to have to be somebody that really understands, able to deal with it. Because you got to realize it's a complicated let alone just the saving people shit. I still got a music career. I still business wise. I'm still My like father, kids. Yeah, like right. it's a lot that go on. So I think it's gonna have to take one of them in the terms that we used to come up understanding a, a, a strong woman. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Woman. A, a, a you know, very strong. You know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be the one that wants to be involved. I That's think the so thing. Too. You never. I honestly never know, and I, it's, I'm still a work in progress learning. Right. You know. Because, of course, being involved, it, it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you go to thinking from y'all's standpoint, where you may say, hey, bro, go take a trip, or you need to do this. Guess what? If one's always agreeing with what I got going on, I don't necessarily know if that's going to oh, no, be that either. She, she's going to care, too. For me, every time where I'm like, I need a vacation, but I just can't leave. I keep finding shit to do. My, my girl would pick up the phone and just book the tickets and be like, go. I'm driving you to the airport. <laughs> go. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that'll be the one. That'll be the one. She, she's going to want to, I, I agree. You're going to need her out doing the work. She's going to be about that action too. And you guys will create moments as this is happening. And, and I would say it's not to say I don't have nobody I'm not appreciative of. I think also with me being a solid nigga, I also know how that could be taken away from them. Like, I don't think self is either, you know what I'm saying? Right. Mm. Like, rather than make it about me, I also got to feel I'm big on thinking what actually do they deserve, what make them happy at the same time. Oh, no. Nah. And, yeah. and I don't think I'm willing to sacrifice stopping what I got going anytime soon whether it be helping people or the music or just the, the time that I have, because my time is, I get pulled every every direction, every day, so. The, the one the one that makes sense is going to betray the truth to you. 
Mm. Oh, that's gonna be a bad. I got. My eyes. <laughs> 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 but you know, and look, and, and you, now what I will say is something that I've always that people be females be mad at me the most is I don't really accept help good either. Yeah, because I'm always I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like, bro, if I go out, even if I go out to eat, right, with just let's just say I can go out to eat with probably one of the uh, a bigger meal, you know. You see what I'm saying? Right. I'm still the type of person. Still, I handle everything. It's just how I know how to be, right. and I that don't necessarily be that don't mean it's good. It's just what I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? So, well, see, this could be where the therapy kicks in. This could be one of those things you work through. Bro, I, I can get the cues, man. Your daughter gonna like her. That's gonna be the first time. I've never let. My daughter haven't met no female yet. The one I'm that, really, the one so that I does, really have to be. Is she she like ain't met nobody yet. I, like Listen. I'm really, and I, I feel I, I could take pride in that part. Like I didn't, sure. I didn't move. Right. With my boys, it was different. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like them my little niggas, but, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my right. daughter now. Nah, nah, well, she, they also she need. She to haven't see, seen me in that. Your, your yeah. boys need to see how you treat women. Listen. Your boys need to see how you are around women. They need to, oh, yeah. they need to understand those mechanics. Your daughter's a different story. Yeah, she haven't. I don't even know if she would understand if I, because I've never even attempted to even think to bring somebody around her. When it's me and my daughter, it's strictly daddy to her. She ain't thinking about she. She probably wouldn't even be cool with. She ain't even really cool with other kids just playing with me like that. <laughs> so I know she ain't. She ain't gonna be trying to Yo, hear hey, none of that. Shit. Your daughter sound like my like Pooty. Pooty, yeah, yeah. Pooty don't Pootie, like. Man. See, and cause my daughter could be cool and then not. Not even paying attention to me at that moment. Yeah. Let another child come up. Look, mm -hmm. <laughs> her, 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 my, her sister, my other daughter, got to wait till she fall asleep to spend time. She she just debo like she debos everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, she gonna meet that. And she gonna be like, okay, y'all wanna play with her too. She's cool. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What, what yeah. are you going to do when this five year old gets a little older, looks you dead in the face? says, Daddy, you need a woman. I want you to get a woman. I want I honestly, to see you with somebody. I honestly don't think, the only reason I don't think she would because the dynamics of our relationship, when she with me, she'd be on her own cloud nine. Mm -hmm. So but maybe when I start becoming, going. yeah, I know, but yeah. maybe when I start getting boring to it then, Maybe she may feel otherwise. Yeah, eventually, I don't. <laughs> she's five now. She's five now. You're a giant. You're you're everything to her now. You're she's five. I'm talking about when she's fifteen, mm -hmm. and the world opens up, and there's a million other things. I, I'm gonna she, be honest. Look at his you. face. Look at look, 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 hey, look, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, thinking about the moment. Hey, look, and that's the, 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 but you know the crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. you're not even paying attention at that moment. I don't give a fuck about what I got going on. I'm going to be watching any little nigga trying to get out. <laughs> yeah. Because in my mind, that's my biggest fear right now. Right. I'm When I'm going to and how I'm going to accept, if I'm going to accept that. Well, she, first yeah. of all, first of all, and I'm not a parent, but just guessing. It's coming from a dadless guy. I'm thinking she's going to want a man like her father. It's definitely, yeah. well, definitely females do. Or, or, what I've learned coming up is either that or they pick dudes from what they were lacking and missing, you know what right. I'm saying, mm. or what they were hoping for, which they don't always turn out to be good yeah. either, you know and what I'm saying? The way, the way Listen, you rock you, you yeah. set the standard. Yeah. And I feel sorry for anybody who yeah. attempts it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Know, not only that, they know how I'm coming behind my kids. Yeah, look. Man. Dude, uh, you, uh, <laughs> hey. oh, man, crazy. <laughs> no, real talk. I feel sorry that's for why I was no, there. That's why not I was even on a Not even on the protective father side, but you still gotta be if you got to do anything close to, to what, what I've I got, done, <laughs> you're going to be stressed. <laughs> you in for it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. you in for it. Jesus. And see, like, with my boys, it's different, man. But... So I, I'm the type of father I got, I'm the homeboy to my kids. I don't whoop them, I ain't doing nothing. Like, holler at me. If that's what, like, let me know what it is, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I expose them to the real, so they also ain't, it ain't no homeboy gonna be able to key them up to do nothing. Cause in their mind, my, my old man already showed me how to. Right. Like my, though, Houston just, he just turned um, 14. He can tell you everything. He been driving. He drove since eleven years old. Gun ranges. He could do. It. Like I don't. I expose them to life, so they'll still be street smart. But I also try and 
make it where they can enjoy life and don't have to deal with that type. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I give them, right. I give them the balance. Mm -hmm. But ain't no friend gonna be like, hey, let's go take this and go like, let me look like, I'm gonna do that for a bro. That's goofy as hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. I always had that relationship with them. Right. That like even yeah, I've been seeing it the whole time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> even, um, That's the my expert opinion for. Yeah. <laughs> even even like with that, my daughter, you know, we I be daddy at times, but I'm still like we laugh, play, like, you know, I, like that's a lot of people don't agree, but I tell people that's my nigga. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just how we are, me and my kids. But every the the one thing people do know, that's my only weakness too. Mm. That yeah, that'll make me tap out. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. So, yeah. so what are you gonna do when she says, "Daddy, I want you to go get a woman"? I, let's just not hope oh, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't even think yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, I, just, you, man, you gotta start prepping. I'm, I'm sure telling you. <laughs> well, but you know what though? When I ride, she'll make me play certain songs. You know what I'm saying? Like Bruh. she will. And what she yeah. say go? Who do you do that all the yeah, time? She, yeah, she will make me do that. Y'all brothers yeah. living with she be coming out randomly too. too. I could tell you how it's gonna happen. I'm telling you, you gonna get a phone call one day. She gonna ask for your girlfriend. Yeah. Daddy, can I speak to such and such? You well, see, right home. now again, she's never been exposed to a female. She's gonna ask me. for one. Yeah, right. But I'm saying right now, I mean, she half the time with her mama, half the time with me. So mm -hmm. you know, it just it, it, it's it's working that way for right now. Is her mama dating? I, I ain't my business. I don't right. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. my mom is dating, she gonna want to see you dating. If mom is dating and happy and content, she gonna want to see the same thing for daddy. She gonna want you happy. And she's gonna think that this thing makes you happy at that age. Not now. But I'm talking about wait till they get 13, 14 and the romance novels kick in. She gonna want to see daddy with somebody nice. Yeah. And... Mecca, no, Jack, I'm telling you, and this... Chant have no babies. <laughs> yeah, so, no, yeah, yeah, bro. yeah, Trey, you don't hear me talking yeah, none about this, bro. Right? Not, yo, I, got like, no Mecca, I hear you, bro. Yo, but these niggas bro, actually you, have those. Listen, <laughs> word. You me and Champ over here, quiet. It's going to be a female. <laughs> you're going to see how she is around her kids. You're going to put some weight on that. She's going to meet her one day, and then she's going to, your daughter going to start asking for her. Hanging out with her by word. herself. Going to get organically. Yogurt. <laughs> man, going, to, going to do yoga. Going to get yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's that shit it. pisses my baby moms off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ask my girl. That, oh, like, oh, yeah, right. See, I've seen, I've seen it a million times. I've seen it a million times. All my homegirls talk about it. I grew up in a house full of sisters. I've seen that. I've dated daddy's girls who don't have daddy issues. And they'll say something like, my father does. And then I meet Pop, and me and Pop but real talk, get along. She's never met anybody else. Female? For me, no. Like, no, I, for I, me. Oh, yours, yours? Aside saying? from my girl, she never met nobody else. Because I never felt comfortable doing that until... Because for me, it's just... Because I, I feel once it's that... It ain't no going back, you know what I'm saying? Which yeah. I know reality, it, it can be, but can it's like, mm -hmm. you just want to be cautious before you really step for over sure. that line, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For sure. And again, I just think she at a point now, she ain't got to worry in the world, so yeah. let's live it up. Let's you know keep it in the moment. Because yeah. truth be told, like, uh, from a female aspect, they it, it's known when baby girl come in, when she touched the town, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing, I'm not going nowhere, I'm not, there ain't no... Mm -hmm. You might well consider me vacation at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> that would be considered a vacation. I ain't right taking. Here. I ain't really taking calls. It it have to be something drastic that happened that'll make me mm, right. leave. You know what I'm saying? Right. But mm. and the good thing though now, my kids understand. You know what I'm saying? Like if it rain, when it rain in Houston, it floods. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm. If it's raining, my stuff will be at the front door waiting for me. My gift, mm -hmm. when that I'm going out in, mm -hmm. they know. You know what I'm saying? They used to seeing me on the news, anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's the good thing. When it comes to stuff like that, they understand. They don't really. They don't. I don't have to have tug or war between that. They understand. Okay, he gonna go do that, and he'll be back when he's done. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And my kids know I'm gonna make it up to him anyway. If I. If I take this time to go out here and do this, when I, as soon as I get back and I got access, 
It's y'all, whatever, whatever you, you want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it balance it. It works itself out. Just saying, Trey. For a brother who's prepared for emergencies locally, you sure are sticking your head in the sand about this one coming up with your daughter. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is going to happen, bro. You need to get ready for this emergency. How, how do you feel about uh, the music that, that, that's, that's dominant now? In what aspect? Um, the younger generation. I'm cool with it, man. I think they do what fit them. And you have to be understanding <coughs> of them and with them, right? A lot of them bring me out to come, whether it may be a special guest performance or just in general, just because they want big bro or big homie with them. And, um, when I go and I watch, I watch the fans, you know what I'm saying? I watch how they react. They, how we came up and we had all, our Pox, we had our, our Snoops, our Bigs, you know what I'm saying, our uh, MCH, your Cubes, just everybody that we, our DJ Screws, Fat Pat. I was superheroes, those were so our superheroes. So all, all ours, right. how we would be, mm-hmm. Bone Thugs, how we would be when we hit them, that's how they is with these kids. Mm-hmm. And I have to respect that. You, you see what I'm saying? When you watch these kids singing their life away, some of these songs that I really don't understand. Yeah, yeah. But I learned to understand and appreciate it because in our generation the shit that we like, we gotta think our parents wouldn't necessarily yeah, give a either. fuck about that either. <laughs> right. right. So it, 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 I'm just being real. Like I'm I wanna realistic people, bro. I can't I can't shit on them, bro, because it's like I was once them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you all was. Right. Now I do now, what I won't agree with, right? I'm not going to agree with nobody that telling you to go do no suicidal shit or just do some goofball ass mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, you, you know, like, cool, yeah, don't keep people up to do that and you know that ain't what you're going to do. I get that. But other than that, man, I, I, I appreciate and value all of them, man, because I think when you're secure and you ain't really worried about Losing the spot or nothing like that, oh, man. Let sure, them do them. Sure. I'm yeah. saying, all right, cool. Got to embrace it. Yeah, you embrace it, nigga. Mm-hmm. I, and I'm, I'll be the little competition for you. Come on, let's run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's more of a fun thing mm-hmm. for me. And my music, I'm at a point now, it's just sparring. It doesn't matter what you do. You go get a singer, I can sing. You go get a, somebody who rap fast, that's my original style. You go get somebody who lyrics, I can do that. Mm-hmm. I can hang in any aspect. I can blend in with anything you send my way. You see what I'm saying? So for me, it's just, come on. Let's go and get this quick workout real fast. And I have fun with it. <laughs> That's why you got to think. Music y'all heard was just some of the older. I got a, I got a whole four, five hundred songs of the, the youngsters that's out now that you <laughs> wouldn't know crazy. how I made it happen. And it's still the same way. You. you know what I'm saying? So. I and what we it, heard man. was crazy. Yeah. But what we heard was, was crazy. Was insane. You feel like that keep your eyes sharp? By, yeah, yeah. By featuring with, with other artists, whether young or old. Definitely, man. Like, you got to think, man. Right. You got to think everybody from, I don't know, Trinidad James to to Young Thug to, to anybody, they're all, t- I've been there at the beginning. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And stood with them, stood by them, supported them, even when people didn't get them right there and enough. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. Later on down the line, people understood. Right. I'm on 2.0. You got me, B.O.B., J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, mm. Tiger, Gov. Like, it's so many people in that song who before they blew. Right. You, you, mm. you see what I'm saying? Right. You have to understand and be able to embrace. It's so crazy. If you go look at that video... Kevin Gates had never been on TV. He'll tell people this. I put him in the video. That was the first time ever being seen to the world. You see what I'm saying? Like mm. it's it's a lot that really goes on from back then embracing. You know what I'm saying? You got to man. A, a lot of us, a lot of us came up together. Like I said, a lot of these relationships, these are are decades in. You know what mm. I'm saying? So. Mm. I've always done that. And it's like even down to you go to a dirt and herd. They'll tell anybody in the heartbeat, I'm big bro. Like I, I love these I was with these little niggas before 
they signed to, to to majors to the situation that they in now. I've always embraced everybody, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, only time you ain't going to kiss me, if, if I feel you, something about you cannot just blend in with me or don't remind me of that, I just, yeah. I won't jeopardize myself for that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. But mm -hmm. a lot of times, a lot of these, uh, a, a lot of cats, a lot of youngsters, they have potential. They just got to, it got to be brought out of them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Got to have a nigga that, that'll tell, hey, bro, that, nah, that ain't it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, or, Oh man, focus on this, bro. Or, or handle your business that way, and it's like they value that because you don't have people doing that. You know what I'm saying? The majority of the time, you got they people got yes that, men around them. Huh? The majority of the time, they got yes men around them. Yes men, and, and you got people that look at them like they're they proud of them rather than try and understand them. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So. She had you bad. What well, do do you feel like? What you think? What do you think causes the gap between the the OGs and and the young? I think sometimes two it's two ways. From the old aspect, bitterness. From the young a younger aspect, it could be disrespect. See what I'm saying? So they both could be offended in, in, in multiple ways. Like the we go way back, right, it's to where when Tip made me the vice president of Grand Hustle, it was a balance. The balance between the label and the artist, I understood both sides because I always took care of business, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people don't know, like even when you go back to, we had Iggy's, people don't know when Travis Scott first started, he was there with us, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just a balance of, of, of being there, you know what I'm saying? And being somebody that, that that ain't talking down to them, that ain't crushing their dreams or, or, or they hope, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And being a, it, it's a somebody named, I don't know if y'all know who Ink is, Spill My Ink. Ink, um, I'll never forget, I was at a studio, Ink was walking around, she was playing the guitar, I always wear cowboy hat boots. Everybody walking past her, nobody even paying attention, they ain't even, it's just somebody in the studio. I took her in, and I, I just, I seen the potential, you see what I'm saying? Lo and behold, people would hear the records, and one thing about it, one, even if the industry never admitted or not, if I'm doing something, they're going to tend. They may not say, I want to fuck with you because I seen Trey fucking with you, but they definitely right. going to pay attention. So, man, I say within a couple of years' time, you go look up Ink right now, Ink have multiple songs she produced, I mean, wrote on Beyonce, from uh, J-Lo to all kind of people. It's like, mm. sometimes, bro, you, you taking a chance to hit people, man, that, that shit, it don't hurt you. Like, show them you believe in them. Get them that hope to push, and you never know how great they could become. You see sure. what I'm saying? Because all the relationships I had, again, I watched from the beginning to where they are now. They some of the biggest artists in the world. Mm. And I can literally still, I'm gonna pick up the phone, hey, I need you to do this. Okay, I got you, bro. I'll just give me a second to do this and I, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's just that's worth way more than than anything, man. Yeah, it, it's I'm talking there's been times I bring artists to trade day. People didn't know what they is, and they'd be like, Man, why who is that or why? Right after everybody and their mama singing word for word what they got going on. They yeah. just, that's something else God blessed me with, just in, in embracing people a certain way ahead mm -hmm. of time. And again, that leads to anything needed. I, I'm all, I don't know, he just got it to where it balances out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Facts. Trade the truth. Yo, I mean, where do you go from here, bro? You've been dropping gems since bro, this whole thing started. What you got going on next? Yeah, what's next? Yeah, what's next? Uh, the movie. So I, I jumped in. I'm in the movie world now. Um, we got the movie Soul. That'll that actually will be coming out on Tubi any given day. I don't know when they're releasing it. Why Tubi? Um, one, because I love jumping in with the underdogs and showing what I can do. You know what I'm saying? And 
I feel like a lot of people will see clips of Tubi because it got some bullshit on Tubi. Yeah, it got, a lot of <laughs> it got a lot of good shit on Tubi too, but right. everybody's perception was it was just the bullshit. Right. And uh, even the bullshit was still, they would make a killing off of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And true enough, I could have tried to go to the, the biggers and might have got lost in the shuffle. But I feel going there and the quality of everything I do is always going to be top notch. From that goes, let alone y'all talking about the, the music. So you can only imagine when it comes to Visuals. movies and others. Like, I ain't, right, I'm not right. playing them type games. So, right. um, that, you know, shout out to my bro Murder Pain and them. You know, they actually would turn me on to if y'all ever watched the show McGraw Ave and the other stuff. If you haven't, you need to check it out. They, the my dirty. bros, him and Chris out of uh, Detroit. Um, yeah, Dirty D and all that. Yeah, so yeah. it's like um, plug, love, like different stuff. Yeah. Um, they actually strong and paving the way through the, the, the Tubi atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? So that um, I have, so me and Mozzie had a movie that's been sitting up, um, of course, with, with our album. You know, I got the album with me and Conway, um, me and Davies, uh, me and Young Thug still have a whole album that, that ain't been released. Free Thugger. Uh, yeah, Free Thugger. That's my brother too, you know, I, I definitely, I, Went to court for him a few times. I already support when seeing him in jail. Mm. Um, the cartoon, I got a big cartoon deal with one of the, one of the biggest actors and comedians. I don't even want to spill the beans, but I got that. Um, the cartoon stuff coming. You know, I got my glasses um, with AB and slash Habibi. Uh, they dope shades. I'm gonna make sure I try and get y'all some. Um, Thank you. Of course, yes. you know my company, Bump Box. You know, yeah, Bump me Box. and my partners, yes. we we literally killing it organically. If you when you watch <coughs> people on ESPN or Super Bowl, people coming out with our radios on them, or you watching shows and stuff that we ain't we didn't place it in, that lets you know it, it got to be big. Cause people organically had. And these this was featured in the Barbie movie also. Featured in the Barbie movie too. That's we need one of those. You got to think. Yeah. And, yeah. And that's we need a, a couple of them. Yeah. The first, <laughs> the first, Barbie, I believe the first week was seen over a billion times. So imagine, mm, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. Um, that, of course, wow. you know, my headphones, um, you come to Houston, try the truth truck, that's my food trucks. Um, I don't know, bro. I'm I'm an all around hustler. I got yeah. the tax office. Yeah, too much. Um, Did you say a got, tax office? Yeah, we got the tax office. Uh, we got the <laughs> trucking company. That's crazy. Two bros. Um, Cause the thing is, bro, you you have to be smart, man. Like I never forget, Dre said it on Kendrick album, and people didn't understand. It's not hard to get it. Can you keep, keep it? it. Mm -hmm. So think about it, bro. Like um, shout out my jeweler, Ice Man Nick, right? Like. We've been so far ahead of the game, even with jury and stuff. Like even now, when I I, I can watch people, um, I can watch people spend money on. Let's just not take. Let's just take the club. When you in there, and you want to show off. You may feel like let me spend a four five thousand on this section, get some some bottles here to show off for a few women, and just show I'm that nigga. Well, guess what, bro? You could have took that ten thousand and created you a business and damn near quadruple that money, mm. easy. Right. You see what mm. I'm saying? Right. So people they don't they don't think the the way that I think. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm always having something coming in, and it's not even just for me. It's just God forbid something ever happened to me. It's always gonna be some type of stream somewhere for my kids and them to be able to take care of themselves. Stuck you know in motion. Saying? Right. Always. Stuck in motion. See, so you understand. I Stopping do. ain't an option. Stopping ain't an option. So I'm 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 stuck having to move under any means necessary. Right. I'm stuck in motion. New That's album. the name of the new album, by the way. Yeah. You got wreckage stuck with me. Everybody like clever. mama, do you got a dream feature? <laughs> a dream feature? You say, do I have a dream feature? Yeah, dream feature. Um uh, Technically, uh, we've already did stuff somewhat already, but I think just for the culture, for the city, definitely um, Beyonce, and that's you know that's family. 
uh, uh, so. whole Be Good family, Mama Tina, um, Jay, everybody. So probably just something where it's just a me and her record. Definitely, I think it would be big for the city just for everything that we do. Um, and a whole verse on that wouldn't be bad either. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I think <clears throat> rap wise, I still have yet. I'm gonna have to get Dre just for the culture, mm -hmm. but Eminem because I can rap. So okay, M? definitely. Yeah. I you yeah. gotta think, bro. When you go to talking about original, flipping the tongue. Yeah, I'm probably one of the rawest that can do it. So right. definitely, always, you know, like I love that I type really of dope. energy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Fire. So, so definitely, um, definitely that. Shout man. out to M, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Like right. you gotta understand. Yes. Well, people understand, man. It's it's not it's not easy to keep recreating yourself and keep being consistent either. You know what I'm saying? People's skills tend to fall off at the time. Everything. You know, I feel like. When he in his mode of dropping music, he's all the way back hungry. Yeah. So mm -hmm. definitely um, him. Other than that, bro, I really damn they got records with everybody. 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 And we heard it. Not and we literally heard it. Everybody. <laughs> we literally heard it. Sat through it. Everybody. Thanks. Listen, man. Tell you the truth. Um, 20, 20 plus years in the game. Mm -hmm. And what you represent, the resilience. Uh, the things that the obstacles that you've been faced with and being able to over, overcome that and showing everybody else, listen, you can still get it no matter what happens. You can still maneuver in this thing. You can still be a giant. We appreciate you. Thank you. And doing it with integrity. Hey, the truth of the motion out right now. Hey, the truth of the motion right now. Stop that. Stop playing. Eight ten. That Conway thing on the way, too. That's it. Look. It's all around. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays, I bump side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway. 